because I'm a massive fan of science fiction, adventure. I love the comic book heroes. Uh, I like comic books. You know, um, I love sci-fi entertainment, especially movies and television and, and you know, internet stuff and stuff. But, um, <clears throat> but when I come to creating something, I, I'm very much... It can be quite disciplined sometimes in, in, in what I'm actually creating. So I might choose a very simple, I might, I might choose a very simple tool in order to portray something about character or a very simple, straightforward setup to portray something about, something about story or something about context, something about themes. Uh, and that's where all my writing mostly goes. It's in the characters, the themes and the settings and what, what makes people do what they do. I'm, I'm always fascinated by, uh, you know, things on a society level, you know, big epic questions, you know, why are we doing this? What, this is really destructive. Why are we doing this, you know? Uh, and then I love to bring it down to individuals as well, you know, so big setting, big, you know, big, deep society questions and environment questions. And then how does the individual navigate that? How does an individual cope with that? And that's how I've written this as well. So, Everything was very specifically written in order to show the themes uh, and to show the characters and to show the struggles and, and ask the questions that I want people to kind of think and ponder about. What, what, I'm, what I'm very happy about is there's a lot in this short film that I've kind of hinted at but I've not actually um, exploited, expanded upon. I wanted to make a short film that wasn't FX heavy. Um, I was wondering how far can we just push shooting the short film in London, you know? I mean, a lot of, you know, a lot of films have always used interesting architecture, everything back to Logan's Run, Star Wars, Total Recall, you know, use an interesting architecture in order to tell their story cinematically without having to uh, build, build big sets all the time. The yeah. problem is, is that because a lot of people do it, um, and there's, the, you know, tough people walking around in very techy gear, and then all of a sudden... They're walking in front of, you know, a uh, really mo ultra-modern building with lots of lens flares. I thought, oh, you know, that's going to be my film as well. So I conscientiously chose that this short film should include a different aspect. So I wanted low effects, but I wanted something that was a little bit different. That's why I chose um, Eartha to be a, an opposite, if you like. So Eartha has a themed aspect to her character, which is 70s music, uh, 80s funk soul kind of aspect to her. So everything with Valda, you know, is all the kind of blues and you know, kind of blues and um, tones of blue and black and white and, you know, all the anamorphic kind of look and ultra modern buildings. But then when we get into Eartha, her, there's much more bricks involved, with the buildings, the architecture, much more streets. And then we start going down back streets and we see roadworks and stuff like that. That was all consciously chosen. And then where she's made her there's a statement in the fact that where she's made her lair is under some, uh, you know, a construction site. It's, it's there. Because everything in old London will, will not exist after a while. Everything is being built, built, built. You know, construction, 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 the future, the future. Money, money, money. You know, super rich London. That's kind of what way it was designed. And that's how it was shot. And, and that's kind of how I've used that in the storytelling. But there's a lot more in there that I'm, I'm not going to elaborate on. You know, there will be... You know, in the, in the eventual feature film, because this is all about making a feature film. That's the main point of this short film, you know. So task handling. So I was very, you know, even though I kind of, even though the 448, even though the 448 widescreen anamorphic test film, in some ways it's very cliche, you know, a woman wearing tight black clothing, walking through London, looking like she's going to beat somebody up, um, you know, to really kind of futuristic music. The ending of that kind of just broke that you know, that cliche uh, of that uh, short film. So, you know, writing something that's far much more human, you know, this is, not a, this is not a fashion model going about her business. This is a person going about her need to make money. This is going to be a woman, in, you know, who's going to be fighting people, you know, spying on people, you know, techno espionage, techno, you know, crime, uh, all that kind of business. And, you know, a lot of people kind of like that styling. I like it because it's like, you know, their society and within that, within that there's different levels of, of, of you know, uh, people operating behind the scenes, you know, those secret people. I do love that type of thing. So it has to have that kind of entertainment value. But I didn't want to go, kind of go the cliche of she's a female Clint Eastwood, you know? I didn't want to, you know, 
to be honest, even a lot of many of my short films are about women, you know, who, but they're not about, it's not about women. They're just, I always envision a woman playing a part as opposed to, I need to make a short film about women. You know, this is a person I'm writing about and she's in this, you know, she's in this kind of environment. This is what's going on. It, it's, it's completely normal for me, you know? Um, I'm not sure why. But the, 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 the most important thing is that I didn't want it to be, oh, she's a bounty hunter. She's a bounty hunter. She's going to find people. She's going to beat them up. You know, that's kind of boring. You know, for me to, as a writer, you know, I can watch that stuff. And it's like, great, yeah. You know, techno espionage. You know, fine. I can watch that. I can enjoy it. But I can't write it with enthusiasm. So what is she, you know? This is, this is what I came up with with the test film. What is she? Okay, well, she, she walks around the place, you know, she must be doing something. Okay, well, she's working for the super rich and all their dodgy dealings, you know? So what's she doing? You know, well, the super rich have tasks to undertake. Okay, so she's handling tasks. She's taking on tasks. She's a task handler. Okay, she's going to be a task handler. That's great for me because it gives me far much more wider range in order to kind of portray her journey and the kind of work she gets involved with and also it kind of it kind of uh yeah i think it makes it much more diverse and much more interesting rather than who's on the bounty today it's kind of what am i doing today oh there's this job task handling can be anything as mundane as i can't make it i need someone to pick up my child no one else is available pick my child up from school and entertain them for two hours to right i need you to do something that's not quite legal, but helps me in some way. You know, that, that's the kind of different, that's what task handling is. So you have to be very good at a lot of things, and Val there is.